Do you often feel disrespected by those around you? Maybe you daydream about finally standing your ground. Kind of like Tom Shelby from Peaky Blinders. His charisma, dominance, and assertiveness made him gain instant respect as soon as he walked through the door. But do you have to be naturally confident or can you learn to be respected? If you're done with nobody giving you the proper time of day, here are six tips and tricks to get instant respect. Number one, unblurring the boundaries. An important social skill that will make you respected is setting firm and healthy boundaries with others. Unclear boundaries can make others take advantage of you or exploit you. But on the other hand, according to the American Psychological Association, boundaries protect the integrity of an individual or group. And protecting your integrity means getting mad respect. A good example of a firm boundary is respecting your own time, since it's one of the most valuable things you have. If you're always giving it away freely to those around you, there are bound to be people that abuse this privilege. If you want instant respect, you must first respect yourself. Your time matters. If someone you meet is late once, that's okay. It happens. But if they keep on showing up late, don't continue to excuse them. In a clear and level way, voice your frustration. If they realize your time matters to you, it should matter to them too. Number two, my word is my bond. If you're known as someone who keeps their promises, that integrity will hopefully serve you well with others. But if you're not strong on your word, others may follow your lead. For example, one 2010 research study found that employees reduce their efforts and lower their job performance if their supervisors keep breaking their promises. Researchers call this the norm of reciprocity. And the logic behind it is pretty simple. If you respect others by keeping your promise, they'll respect you back. By keeping your promises, your employers, colleagues, friends, and family members will know that they can rely on you when it matters the most. You'll be asked to help out more often. It feels really good to get that kind of recognition. Who doesn't love being the one that came in clutch right at the very end? Number three, head to toe confidence. Being aware of your body language is another excellent way to ensure you get the much needed respect. For example, the way you sit or stand in front of someone can change whether they respect you or not. According to Kendra Cherry from verywellmind.com, posture can convey a wealth of information about how a person is feeling, as well as hints about personality characteristics, such as whether a person is confident, open, or submissive. Sitting up straight, for example, may indicate that a person is focused on paying attention to what's going on. Sitting with body hunched forward, on the other hand, can imply that the person is bored or indifferent. A 2018 research article explains that slouching is actually a defensive posture. When we feel threatened, we instinctively slouch to protect our internal organs from harm, even if the harm isn't really there. But to be respected, you wanna show others you're not afraid of them. Try some different power poses in the mirror. This may feel a bit silly at first, but you could find that a new standing or sitting position suits you better. Others will hopefully take note when you're more sure-footed. Number four, my bad. Admitting you're wrong. Not many of us like the thought of that. Paul Ratner from BigThink.com explains why we're so afraid of admitting our mistake. When their self-image is at stake, when they're afraid of looking weak and vulnerable, people often tend to double down. Their confirmation bias can make them overcompensate, refusing to acknowledge fault and consider only the evidence that supports their beliefs. But believe it or not, you'll gain instant respect from someone when you admit your wrongs. Admitting this in an argument with someone means that you value them as another human being. Being open to someone else's perspective is very wise. Others will likely be drawn to you and respect you for being so open and considerate. Number five, louder than anxiety. To get respect, it's important to communicate clearly and strongly. Does the thought of getting people's attention scare you a bit? Being vocal is a common problem faced by people with social anxiety. A 2016 research study found that those who are socially anxious often have issues with mumbling, talking too fast or too slow, being too quiet or monotone in their speech. But don't worry, there are ways to fix this. Before getting someone's attention, clear your voice of any potential nasty phlegm that might have built its way up to your throat. Drinking some water helps too. Along with a couple deep breaths, stand up straight, feet firmly planted. Once you're good to go, really feel your voice flow from your lungs and out your mouth. If you speak clearly and confidently, those around you will take note. And number six, I got your back. And finally, to ensure respect coming your way, call people out on their bad behavior. This will very likely put you out of your comfort zone. In fact, it probably feels incredibly uncomfortable to even think about it. 
but things like bigotry, sexism, and systemic racism need to be called out in our society. Standing up and fighting for what's important to you is a great way to get respect. Not everyone has the courage to do so, right? Voicing your opinions is not only brave, it also shows you're not conforming to the majority. And that's what makes you respected. A 2014 study showed that non-conforming behavior signals high status and autonomy. So if you believe in something, speak up. Are you now more pumped up? Totally jazzed? Well, good. Hopefully you're feeling more ready and willing to take the world on because it is indeed your oyster. In what other ways can you get instant respect that weren't mentioned in this video? Check them out in this video or comment your own ideas. Until next time.